Thanks indeed. Uh, today we have adopted a decision concluding that the Madeira Free Zone Scheme was not implemented in line with the approved conditions. Uh, of course, the Commission, the Commission fully recognizes the outermost uh, region nature of Madeira and the need uh, to provide regional aid to the companies uh, operating in it in order to attract investment. This is why in 2007 and 2013, the Commission has adopted decisions approving the Madeira uh, Free Zone. However, uh, when verifying the implementation of the conditions um, of the scheme, the Commission has seen that two fundamental conditions in particular were not being respected in some of the cases. One was the jobs created or maintained had to be in the island of Madeira, while instead we have seen that some of these jobs uh, accounted for when, uh, when calculating the amount of aid were actually in other EU member states or even outside the EU. And the other condition was that the activity for which uh, the tax reductions were being granted had to take place in Madeira. Again, this was not the case. Therefore, uh, the decision concerns the measures that did not bring value added to the island of Madeira itself. Now, the Commission is requiring Portugal to recover the uh, illegal aid granted, which does not mean that all companies uh, that have benefited from the scheme have to recover the aid. It means that the companies that did not respect the uh, compatibility conditions of jobs and profit um, in the region of Madeira will have to recover uh, this aid. First of all, these conditions will have to be checked. Second, Portugal will have to see whether the amounts of aid granted are below the 200,000 over three years de minimis threshold. Uh, and at that point, we will know which companies have to recover the aid and for which amount. Thank you. There is a follow-up question. Go ahead. Okay, now I mean, uh, uh, sorry, just a quick follow up to, 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 to let me know if you have an idea of the amount of aids that are uh, irregular, let's say so. Thanks. Ariana. Sorry, I was speaking without pressing the speak button. <laughs> So, um, unfortunately, no, we don't have an idea of, of the number of companies uh, concerned or the amounts of aid to be recovered, because, uh, as I was mentioning, Portugal will really now have to see which companies did not respect these two compatibility conditions of jobs created in the regions and uh, activities for which the tax reductions are being granted in the region of Madeira. Once this list will be complied, they will have to see how many of these companies have received aid amounts, which are are um, above uh, the, the, the de minimis threshold, and only at, at that point uh, we will know uh, the amounts. Uh, what I can say, perhaps, just to give a, a bit of a parameter, but it's of course a general uh, figure, is that there are 1,700 registered entities that are benefiting, uh, that have benefited from, from this measure between 2007 and 2014, and we believe that only 300 of them uh, have benefited from an amount uh, above uh, 200,000 euros. Of these 300, of course, Portugal now will have to do the checks on the compatibility conditions. Thank you, Ariana. Are there other competition-related questions for Ariana today? Please only keep your hand raised if it is. Well, first, let's focus on this Portuguese uh, issue, on this Portuguese case. Um, so please only keep your hand raised if it is on this. Mose, I know your question is not on this. Voila, Susana. Uh, yes, a follow-up. Um, just to understand, so if a company um, received illegal aid but the threshold is um, below 200,000 euros, that's okay. So in that case, even if uh, the received aid uh, is illegal, they don't have to return it to, 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 the, to the state. So that's my uh, uh, first question. And uh, how are you sure if you don't have this uh, uh, relation between uh, which countries are supposed to uh, give the money back? Uh, how, how do you know how many are uh, above uh, 
two hundred thousand euros. I'm, I'm not sure if I'm, I'm very, very, I'm being clear, but I'm still trying to understand also this, uh, this document. Thank you in this decision. Go ahead, Ariana. But press speak first. Yes. <laughs> I should have learned by now, almost there. Uh, indeed, so uh, on the 200,000 over three years threshold, this uh, um, relates to the de minimis regulation, which says that uh, aid to a company uh, below this amount over three years is actually not considered to be state aid as it has not uh, an impact on um, <clears throat> on trade in the internal market. And this is why uh, it's it's not considered at aid, as aid uh, ever in, in, in application of, of stated rules and clearly as it is a general principle it applies for uh, this case as well the the figures I was giving are just uh, indicative uh, so so they were just to give uh, an idea of, of the size and they were based on exchanges that we have had uh, in the past with the Portuguese authorities and on, on our uh, analysis uh, but of course when we monitor cases which is something that the Commission does regularly it selects uh, each case uh, each year a number of cases uh, to to vary verify if they have been implemented uh, in, accord in accordance with the compatibility conditions. It selects, uh, you know, some companies uh, to, to, to verify in, in greater detail. And uh, what has happened in this case is that for a number of these companies, we have seen that the clear uh, compatibility conditions of value added for the region of Madeira specifically had not been uh, fulfilled. And for this reason, um, we, we have taken this decision today. Thank you. Now, unfortunately, I have the impression that Susanna could not hear the answer. Um, Susanna, I propose, uh, if that is the case, that you watch the answer on EBS after the, after the midday, or that you uh, contact Ariana bilaterally on your question. Are there other competition-related questions for Ariana today?